Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Koholoyim la, yahawo ba'al shim yahushai. Ba'al shim, rakah ha'kodash. The honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well. The body of spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Yachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, just wanted to go off into a quick lesson on uh, basically, you know, keeping the tongue, man, watching your mouth, you know, not, you know, sparing words in a sense, you know, because um, really in reality, the scripture says that uh, if any man speak, let it be of the oracles of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, you know, it's nothing wrong with kicking it with people, talking with people, you know, but a lot of people, they, they're not into the, that are not into these scriptures. They just, it's just random talking, talking about people, gossiping, um, backbiting and a bunch of other stuff. But I wanted to go off into this because it was Kanye's mouth that really got him in the shit that he's in right now. You know, even though he's one of those oppositions, man, we we know <laughs> pretty much what it is. But you know what I'm saying? At the same time, too, that could be a lesson as to, you know, um, sparing your words, so to speak. Now, let's go to the New Testament on that. Let's get the book of James, chapter three. We we'll start from the top, verse one. And actually, it's entitled controlling the tongue. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. So one of the hardest things about, you know, um, the body really is, the, the you know, your mouth, man, the tongue, man, because life and death are in the tongue. Whatever comes to your head and, you know, the, the, the apostles, the brothers been bringing it out as of late. You know, everything that comes to your mind, man, you don't have to let it release. You don't have to release it. You don't have to let it go out into the atmosphere. You see what I'm saying? Some things you, you have to keep to yourself because a person really don't know who you are until you open your mouth. And you don't want to give, um, um, you know, certain people that advantage of like, you know, they, they get that first impression, what they call a first impression of you just by you talking. Or well, I can tell how you, you know, you, you've been around people. As soon as they start to talk, you can pretty much get an idea of where they're coming from or, you know, an idea of what they may be like, you know. So we have to watch that. OK, it says, um, behold. Verse three, behold, we put bits in the horse's mouths that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. Now, if you're familiar with a horse or if you're familiar with a bit or if you see like when, a, you know, when a rider is on that horse and they're pulling on those straps, there's a, a piece of metal in the, in the that's connected to those straps that are in the horse's mouth. So when they pull back on the horse's mouth, it pulls their head up or they can pull it to the left, make them go left, you know. But when they pull their head up, it makes them stop. When they pull to the right, you know, it makes them go right, you know, just to um, control them, you know. So um, verse four. Behold, also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of, of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor listened. So if you, you, you're familiar with boats, I mean, it can be a, a cruiser, a big ass, uh, uh, you know, cruise liner, man. You know that people go on trips on, you know, for seven, eight days, whatever amount of time. But, you know, those those big ass ships are controlled by a small rudder. It's not much to it. But that's the same thing with our mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like our tongue is small within the, the, the you know, as far as our entire body. But that small instrument, that small tongue can get you in a lot of shit, man. <laughs> like for real. Verse five. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. So see, that tongue is small amongst our, our, our members, you know, our, our entire body. You know what I'm saying? But man, hey, that tongue can get your whole body into some shit, man. It's got a lot of people put in the graves. A lot of people are in jail. A lot of people are, you know, done got wounded. A lot of people have lost families over the tongue, you know, from lies, um, just uh, bearing false witness on their neighbors. Um, you know, and, and, and boastful 
pride talking, it, it, it can get you, man. Okay, verse 6, it says, And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defile the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature, and, it's, and, it's, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and the, of the things of the, in the sea is tamed and has been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly, it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. So, you know, hey, it's something to master, man. <laughs> it's definitely something to master because, you know, when people but see, we had to take the example of Yahweh Think about all the things that was going on with our Lord Yahweh which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. When he was being beaten, spat on, having to carry that cross, you know what I'm saying? The amount of time that he did, you know, um, people talking shit to him, punching him, you know, talking about prophesy to, who, you know, who hit you? You know, if, if you all the things that were being said, what did the Lord do, though? The Lord, hey, he, he kept his peace. He only he, he, he barely spoke really in, in those um, um, epistles, man, or the gospels, man. He barely spoke to Pontius Pilate. Because Pontius Pilate even said, you know, um, do you basically Pontius Pilate was kind of bragging like, you know, hey, I have the power to basically do what I please with you, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And Yahweh Shah said that you have no power other than what my, my father has given you, roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord wasn't kicking it with him like that. He wasn't kicking it with Herod, you know, when he came before him because Herod wanted to see him and meet him because he had heard about all those miracles that the Lord had done and he was expecting to see a damn a magic trick out of the Lord. The Lord didn't, 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 um, didn't kick it with them like that, man. So the Lord, he done what he had to do. You know, he was about his father's work and that's pretty much the way that we should be. You know, we got to handle business. We got to get out here and communicate with people, man. But you know, hey, let your words be few. You know, you, know, you don't have to really, that's something that I'm working on myself as well. You know, I've been working on that pretty much all week long. You know, at the job, you know, meditating on it. You know, I kick it and talk to the people that I need to talk to as far as the job goes. But, you know, other than that, man, I ain't trying to, I don't want to hear nothing, man. I ain't trying to kick it with nobody like that, especially not no Edomites, man, especially not at the job. And, 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 and you know, another thing with that Kanye West thing is you see how they got down on him. And that's that that should be a lesson to you Israelites that want to go out and you got damn fringes on everything. I seen a brother in from Walmart just a little while ago. I was at Walmart. He had on fringes, you know, had a hoodie, but I could see the fringes hang, you know, French shirt hanging from under, you know. I didn't, you know, I ain't even say anything to him. I could have, I was handling some business though, you know, I was doing something, you know, um, but I could have said Shalom. I seen him, you know, I could have, you know, whatever, but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? So I, I kept it moving, you know, just handling my business or whatever. But anyway, let's grab a couple more of these precepts. Let's go into um, Proverbs 10 and 14. Yeah, that's something that I've been working on all week long and meditating on, man. Just, you know, just what's the use in talking? Well, what's the use in, in, in just having useless, vain conversations with people for nothing, man? You know? And matter of fact, it, it's like I've been, you know, I because I really don't go nowhere and I really don't kick it with people like that anyway. And, and really, the only time that my mouth is really moving is when I'm doing these lessons. And I kind of find it hard to talk outside of that. Really? I, I've noticed that lately. Like, dang, I can't if I can barely form a sentence with people or words with people. <laughs> you know, the only thing that I'm, I'm about is this, these scriptures, man. OK, Proverbs 10 and 14. And it reads. Oh, wise men lay up knowledge, but the foolish. But the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. See? And it's another one in there. Um, let's get to verse 19. And the multitude of words there warneth not sin. But he that refraineth his lips is wise. See, had Kanye refrained his lips, it would have been wise of him to refrain his lips, man. He didn't have to let them know his plans. He didn't have to know to let them know what was going on. If he had any kind of anger or whatever, you know, he could have just chilled on it. You know what I'm saying? Because you had to be slow to anger. You had to be slow to wrath. You see? But I mean, it's all about the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, because Kanye is getting back a lot of the shit that he put out. This guy was, you know, dancing around with damn Joel Osteen, acting as if he was walking on water. You know, <laughs> he still hasn't repented for the Jesus walk, you know, and all this other shit that he done put out here. Then he goes, you know, and, and, and he, he's he's dissing his people, you know, so he has absolutely really no one, you know, on his side, man, his woman. 
which his woman is probably going to put the kids against him. So we'll see how that turned out with him. But when I seen what was going on, it was just like, you know, my neighbor had asked me about it. And I was like, you know, well, man, you know, he should have just kept his damn mouth shut. He didn't have to go in there and, and on, on that drink champs and, and rant. I don't even think he was drinking. It wasn't even like he had had any drinks. I don't even think he had a drink on the show. You know, that's the type of shit people do when they do get drunk, you know. But let's get um Proverbs 18. And that was just one of the things that I thought about when I um seen how they just um, broke this boy down. They broke his, they, hey, they still breaking him down. I don't think they, they ain't done with him, man. Yeah, I think they said he lost two, two billion in one day yesterday or whatever. Anyway, we're not concerned with that, but we can get a lesson out of it, man. Proverbs 18 and 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. See, just by him saying, I'm talking about this guy only spoke for just a minute or so. Only said a few things that was a, that probably lasted up to 30 to 60 seconds. And those 60 seconds or, or, or those two minutes of, of speaking changed his entire life, man. So we have to realize how powerful that tongue is, man. Let's get verse 21 as well. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. See, death and life are in the power of the tongue. You know, the scriptures even talks about it's better. You won't even know a fool is a fool as long as he don't open his mouth. He can be one of the biggest fools in the world. As long as he's quiet, you would never know. You'll never know, man. Okay, let's get on Proverbs 21. 21 and 23. We just got a few precepts on it. And this is something, man, that, that can really help you. This is something that can really help. Because, you know, sometimes it's, you know, especially when you first come into this truth, you want to tell everybody. You want to kick it with everybody. That's kind of natural in a sense, but... You know, eventually you learn like, man, you know what? Don't don't even throw, you know, um, your pearls to the swine. Don't give that which is sacred to the dogs, man, because they ain't going to do nothing but trample over it. And that's what the script was talk, talks about. And they'll come back and rend you. You know, if they don't get it, it is what it is. Let them ride. It may not be meant for them to get it. If the Lord don't give it to them, then they're not going to get it anyway. So there's no use in forcing it. No use in arguing with people, you know. There's because you've got these holidays coming up. You may say, hey, with well, the Lord, you know, it's conversations that you may be able to get into, whatever, whatever, you know. But when it straight comes down to it, you know, just be careful with it. Just, you know, because it can cause contention, can cause arguments, can cause strife. Here you go, big mama and I'm at the Christmas dinner. You just showed up to just say hi to the family because, you know, that's generally a time of the year when you can see a lot of the family. Get you a plate and you bounce, man. You don't have to tell them, look at your, 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 you know, talking to them about their Christmas tree and talking to them about, you know, you going Jeremiah 10. You know, you don't need to do all that, man. If you if you've spoken to them before about it, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to go in and ruin everything for them, you know, so to speak, you know, because, it, it, you know, they ain't going to do nothing but throw it back at you, man. It, it, and it's not going to cause nothing but contention, man. You can keep the peace and you want to grab your plate, keep that shit moving. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, they're not going to get it. And, you, and, and you're just going to be arguing with them. It's like, you you know, the scriptures talks about replying to a fool and two people seeing y'all talking. You may have all the wisdom in the world, but a person may see y'all talking and both of y'all looking like a damn fool because he's not going to get it or she's not going to get it. It just is what it is, man. That's the way that the Lord made it. Just be happy that you're into this truth, man. Proverbs 21 and 23, whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. See that? So had Kanye just shut the fuck up, he wouldn't be going through what he's going through right now. He'd still be a billionaire, so to speak. He'd still be out here making his money. He'd still be out here doing his thing. But you know, Kanye is real damn proud, too. So, you know, a um, pride, haughtiness goes before fall, man. That's what the scripture says. Okay, so now... Oh, wow, where's we at? Oh, I got a couple more in Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs 12. 12 and 13. The wicked is snared by the transgressions of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. So see, the wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. And Kanye is wicked as hell, man. You know that nigga wicked as hell, man. You see? 
he had, uh, I ain't gonna even front, I mean, cause I was into Christianity around the time when Jesus Walks came out. And we was banging that shit, man, in the Christian church. <laughs> even though it was secular, you know, to, you know, even for a Christian. But man, we was banging that, man. You know, he still hasn't repented for that. And then he, you know, he's just all over the place. He knows he's a Hebrew Israelite. You know what I'm saying? But he's not using that platform to say, hey, look, we're the Hebrew Israelites. We're the real children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? And we, you know, it, it, it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep. You know, he, he nothing though. You ain't, you, you're not getting anything out of those celebrities like that, man. They have their, um, their, their reward. They have their prize on this side of the earth, man. Proverbs 13 and three. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. And you can't get no, Kanye is a perfect example of that, man. And like I said again, they're not through with that guy, man. And, and then again, like I said, it, it could be, a, a, you know, just a hoax anyway. You know, they could just be a, you know, they call these people up. They like, hey, look, we done made you a billionaire. Um, we done, you know, we done our part. Basically, you know, we gave you our end of the contract. Now we need a favor from you. We need you to go out here and extract these Hebrew Israelites. Because now what you're starting to see is they've, they've pushed, they're, they're trying to, um, they put the Hebrew Israelites in the mix of Kanye West. Because they um, one of these interviews, I think it was with a, um, one of those small hats over in Germany or something he done an interview with and the guy straight flat out asked him because he asked Kanye, you know, Kanye said that he was a Jew. This guy said, or oh, you're Jewish. He said, no, I'm a Jew. Jewish means pertaining to. And see, that's something that the Hebrew Israelites say. That's something that we bring out. That's something that the apostles, you know, on down the elders and bishops bring out. And we do those lessons and we, and we bring that out. We say that that's a phrase that we say. And that's popular among the Hebrew Israelites. So when the so-called um, white guy heard that, he was like, so, you know, he asked him, so, you know, do you follow to a certain, you know, in so many words, he was basically asking, do you follow the black Hebrew Israelites? And then, so like I said, you know, in a, um, another video I done, now you got um, Sakari, because they mentioned in the news, I think, well, I'm not sure, but I think it was CNN, one of those news um, carriers or whatever, but they mentioned IUIC. They um, mentioned um, I, um, ISUPK. They mentioned Sakari in the article and everything, talking about um, you know Hebrew Israelites and you know um, the anti this, anti that. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't mention GMS because you know, hey, GMS. You know, I follow the teachings of GMS. We we try we use wisdom, man. We try our hardest to use wisdom. You know, we do we do lessons and hey, we got to bring out the truth and it, it may ruffle some feathers. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, one thing the apostles and the brothers will tell you is, is we're not about violence. We're not a violent group of people, man. We bring out the scriptures. We tell you that the Lord is going to get violence with you. He's going to he be the one that's going to tear y'all asses apart. We're never going to be out here because um, um, it, it, it's, it's so-called white people walk up all the time. and so-called um, um you know, or, or you know, uh, uh, them small hatters, they'll walk up, they can get a conversation. The conversation can go swell. It be them actually the ones that get riled up. We gen hey, we're, we're cool. <laughs> hey, you, you can accept it or you, you, you don't have to accept it. You know what I'm saying? But we're not about to put our hands on you. Now we will stand post and watch because there are some damn demons out here. There are people out here, man, that, you know, one of the brothers got pushed down one time. You know, the people drive by and throw shit at the, at the prophets. You know, and, and, and you you know, it's just demons out here, man. So we do have to stand post and watch our brethren. You know, that's only common sense. That's brotherly love. Watching our brethren back, man, while we're out on, on these highways and byways. So just in case one of these clowns trying to attack us, we can defend ourselves. We, we're not going to stand there and let you beat the shit out of us. <laughs> not if we can help it. But we're not initiating no, um, no, no, no hits, no licks, no, no sticks. <laughs> no, we're not pulling no guns. You know, you got these Hebrew Israelites out here, man. They out here posted up with, with them um, bulletproof vests and guns on. You see? Where's your faith in Yahweh Shai? Where's your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? He sent us out, man, to teach the gospel. He said to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. What, you about to shoot a nigga with the Bible in your hand? You about to really just let shots fly if somebody put their hands on you. It's better you, 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 take, a, it's better you take a punch or a slap than to pull out a gun. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and cause you ain't gonna do nothing to get yourself in trouble and, and your whole, your whole crew in trouble. 
They're going to come and, and, and throw all y'all asses in the back of a van. So it's not making no sense. So we got to use wisdom when we're out here, man. See, Kanye didn't use no wisdom whatsoever. And, 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 and it's not surprising because the Lord is not dealing with Kanye, man. Kanye out here, you know what I'm saying? They, <laughs> hey, man, the Lord will do you all kinds of dirty, man, when you get proud as hell. But what, what Kanye done was, though, too, the Lord, you know, using to um, bring out the subject of who are the real Hebrew Israelites, man. And it's you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And it's high time to awake out of sleep. It's time for you to repent because we're living in these last days. These were things. These are things that will be happening in the last days, man. The Lord will bring um, he, he will wake his people up, his saints, his chosen, his peculiar people, his possession, his inheritance, man. So, you know, you know, I just wanted to just touch on this, man. Watch your mouth, you know, um, be, be, be wise about everybody don't need to know everything about you. Everything that come to your head, um, people don't need to know, man. And, and this is something that I've learned over over the past couple of years. And, you know, really, I've just been meditating on through, throughout the week. I'm still going to be working on it. I'm still going to be focusing in on it. And I'm going to try my hardest to basically just keep words at a real minimal, man. Real minimal. You ain't got to, you know, you ain't got to. <laughs> you don't owe these people nothing, man. You know, if a person runs up and they ask you about the scriptures, if we out on the highways and byways, somebody asks us about the scriptures, hey, we're going to get down. We're going to give them the answers according to the scriptures. Other than that, our personal feelings, our personal opinions. Nah, man, we, we ain't getting into that, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame, inshallah.